Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Ryan. Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are absolutely fantastic. In this video, let me show you the 70MI tire pressure monitor system. I'm going to show you the unboxing, how to install it and how does it work. Hope you guys like this one. You know what to do. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Alright guys, let's have a look what's in the 70 my box, typical 70 my packaging, which in this case is a DPMS tire pressure monitoring system. Let's have a look inside the box, let me crack this open. One eternity later. And moving on so guys tpsm what's this this is a safety feature that continually monitors the vehicle tires and will give you the driver an alert if something happened something changed in terms of temperature and tire pressure it will give you a visual and audible alert so this is the unit this is what you get inside the car a small display it has a dual charging mode, solar power or USB, which I never use, always use the solar power. This is the panel on top. At the bottom, you have this ticking pad, so you can put it on your car dashboard. I'll show you more of this unit and how it works in a minute. Let's continue with the unboxing. So inside the box, you also have four stickers, a USB charging cable, if you want to charge a device using this. And of course we have the four individual sensors, one for each wheel. It will communicate with the unit, giving you real time information of the pressure and temperature of each tire. These sensors, have, they have a battery and according to the manufacturer, if you drive two hours a day, it will last for 10 years. I'm gonna show you how to mount this. So basically this part goes inside the wheel and this will be on the outside. Also, according to 70MI, these are automotive grade sensors that have been tested rigorously and it should be extremely difficult to damage with normal use. Looking at the unit itself, you have a power button on this side. You can use it to turn on or off the unit. But for example, in my case, I never use the button because it has a waking up intelligence system that will sense if there's a movement and will turn on or off on its own. So you don't need to worry about this at all. This unit communicates with your phone via Bluetooth 4.2 and the same information you have on this display, you'll have it on your phone app. I'm gonna show you the app in the minute, stay tuned for that. On the other side, you have the USB port to charge the battery. According to the manufacturer, this battery supports high temperatures and if it reaches 60 degrees, it will stop charging. And enough of this guys, let's get the car, let's mount this, let's go. So guys, before you mount the sensor, just make note of the sensor reference on the sensor itself and on the app. You know in this case the front right. You can always swap it later, I'll show you that in a sec. In order to mount these new sensors, you need to remove the, the current rubber ones, they need to be cut off, and the tire of course, as you can see in the video, needs to come off the wheel. I'm not sure if this will be doable for every single tire. These are winter tires, so they are more flexible. I'm not sure if this will be uh, the same process for, for example, sporty tires. And guys, please don't mind the aspect of my wheels. 
they need to be refurbed in no time all four wheels. So what the technician is doing now is trying to remove the old valve, the rubber valve, like so. And here we have the right sensor for this wheel. And guys, can you see the, that yellow sticker? Please remove that before you mount the sensor. It will look ugly. I forgot to remove it on mine. I'll try to remove it later on. So what you do from the inside of the wheel, you insert it like that. And from the outside, you tighten it up. I think it's a 11 mil wrench and the torque of the tightening nut should be between three to five Newton meters. And after that, I think that's it. Just need to pump the tire back to the original pressure. You can check your car uh, specific uh, tire pressure on, for example, on the BMWs on the side of the door. Depends on the car, of course. And while you're filling the tire with air, you can always check the unit and the app itself. Just in case if you got a faulty sensor, you know it straight away. So as you can see, you got the pressure straight away on the unit. You got an alarm for high pressure. So now what you need to do is reduce it to the required pressure. Now what we're doing now is reduce the pressure to match the 2.3 of the left tire. And that's it. Now both front tires are now equal to 2.3. I do recommend also balancing the tires. And that's, that's it for the installation. Just need to mount the last one on the rear right wheel and we're good to go. After the installation is completed, this is how the valve will look from the outside. It's gray. If you have a darker wheel, probably won't look that good. But to be honest, most wheels are silver or grey. Let me now show you how the unit reacts when one of the tires is losing pressure. So I just put the unit there so you guys can see. It takes a few seconds for the unit to acknowledge the pressure. I don't know if because the car is stopped. It says on the manual one second, but I don't know if this is the case. And there you have it, the unit starts to beep took more than one second, that's for sure. The same information will be available on the app. You will see which of the tires is faulty, in this case the front right tire. You'll see the pressure and the temperature of that tire as well. Remember guys, the phone will connect to the unit via Bluetooth. If you want to kill the acoustic alarm, just press the power button once, the acoustic alarm will stop but you'll still get the notification there, the warning that the tire has low pressure. Let's now test how the unit reacts when you pump the air back on. Let's see what's the delay on that. Let me just put 50p here. In the UK you need to pay to use these machines. Let me know down below in the comments if you pay in your country as well. Let me put the unit here so you guys can see. And that's it. We set the machine to 2.2, but we got 2.1 on the sensor. Later on, I set the machine to 2.3 and I got 2.2 on the sensor. Inside the app, there's not much to it. So you have your tire pressure monitor there. It takes a few seconds to get the information from the unit itself. And there you have it, guys. The same information as you got on the unit. You'll see the tire pressure in bars and the temperature of each tire. On the settings, what you can do is, let me show you. So you have the tire pressure settings 
where you got the tire pressure unit you cannot change that you need to use bars and here is where you set your standard tire pressure from the front and rear wheels that's the only thing you can do inside this menu we have the temperature settings as well by default is 70 degrees celsius bind sensor this is where you can swap the sensors just in case if you mount it in the wrong wheel alongside you have the screen luminance you can set the the unit brightness to standard or bright too bright in this case you can also set the vibration sensitivity to wake the unit like i show you before you can set it to standard or sensible and the last menu is the learning mode where you can query about a specific sensor on the units itself alongside with the pressure of each tire the temperature of each tire you can see the small sun on the top left corner meaning the unit is receiving solar energy this will work even on cloudy or rainy days and that's it guys i'll keep testing this unit i'll probably do a second video in a few months time if you have any queries leave it down below in the comments if you found this video helpful if you like it hit the like button subscribe to the channel as always guys thank you very much for watching and i hope i can see you all in the next one